Hi there, this is Dr. Anton from Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, many of my friends and patients have asked me to do a video about viral infections, obviously because of the coronavirus scare that's uh, going around at the moment. Um, I've been coaching families for years now on how to deal with viruses, especially in winter time. You must remember that the common flu still kills more people every year um, than what any of these virus scares do. And we've had many virus scares. We've had avian flu, we've had swine flu, there's been SARS, and already we're seeing the coronavirus is not as infective or potentially not as deadly um, as what SARS was. So this video is your toolkit on how to deal with viral infections. Okay, so let's get cracking. Drink enough water. If you don't drink enough water, your mucous membranes become dehydrated and you become more susceptible um, to receive a virus in your throat or in your mucous membranes in general. Um, how much water should you be drinking? The basic formula is 300 milliliters for every 10 kilograms body weight. Um, so you need to calculate that. And then you obviously have to take into account, are you in winter where you are? Are you in summer? Is it a hot day? Were you exercising? So if your urine starts becoming a very dark, yellowy color, then maybe you should drink a little bit more water. A tried and proven way of dealing with viral infections or preventing them is to wash your hands. Studies have shown that people who wash their hands on a regular basis um, get less flu. Remember now, flu doesn't waft through the air like many of us think. I mean, if you watch these movies and they use the term airborne, then all of us get these images of viruses wafting through the air from a restaurant 100 meters away. It doesn't work like that. Um, it's usually droplet um, uh, infection. So you're shaking someone's hand and their mucus was on their hand. And that's a bit of a gross idea, but their mucus was on their hand and then you get exposed to the mucus uh, that was on that person's hand. Now with coronavirus, it could be tears. Many viruses use uh, several bodily fluids as a transmission platform, but the point is just wash your hands. Now, as part of this, another very important thing is to have, I, I use this uh, waterless hand cleaner. You can use whatever brand uh, you like or what is accessible, but this is uh, something quite handy to have with you. Um, waterless hand cleaner that if you can't wash your hands at that given moment and you just shook hands with seven or eight other people and it's in the middle of winter that you just use something like a waterless hand cleaner. Sleep enough. I cannot overstress this point. Most people are sleep deprived and the reason we sleep deprived is because we have our phones up at night suppressing our sleep hormone melatonin or we are tired and we, we have things that we want to do on our phones, we're watching television till late at night, don't mess with your sleep. If you want to have a strong immune system, make sure that you sleep enough. What is enough? Well, you actually have to do a sleep experiment where maybe in your holidays, you get in bed at the same time every night and you sleep till you wake up naturally. So most people should actually do this to determine how much sleep they need. But it's very important from an immune system perspective that you sleep enough. Okay, let's move on to diet. Um, the first thing with diet, and you know I'm going to be saying this, is don't eat a diet high in sugar or high in refined starchy carbohydrates. Um, this is tied to eating very large meals. Um, so sugar has been linked to, uh, or the consumption of sugar has been linked to a suppressed immune system and um, eating a very large meal at a time. So you're not eating little bits through the day, you're waiting till you get home at night and then you're having this massive meal and that is suppressing the functioning of your white blood cells that are supposed to protect you and you're having a suppressed immune system. Now maybe just on that point, it's very important that viruses like coronavirus target very specifically older people and people with suppressed immune systems. So don't make yourself a person with a suppressed immune system by having these super large meals and having meals that are high in sugar. I recommend to my patients to avoid cow's milk and cow's milk products like yogurt and cheese and then milk that you use on your porridge or your cereal or in your tea and your coffee. Um, bovine milk um, contains too many allergens and from a mucous uh, membrane health perspective, I've just found that in winter time, you will be better off not using um, the milk 
the cheese, the yogurt at all, or maybe just reduce it significantly so that it does not affect you and actually reduce your um, um, uh, defenses against viruses, the flu virus, the coronavirus, you can just group them together. All right, another one that you knew I was going to talk about is to increase your uh, intake of fruit and vegetables, particularly vegetables. You can overdo it with fruit. Remember now the whole concept of sugar. You can actually overdo sugar consumption via fruit, believe it or not. Um, but still, fruit will be better um, than uh, processed sugars. Um, so my advice is eat as much vegetables as part of your meals on a daily basis. Have some fruit, maybe one, two, stretching at three fruits a day. Try to avoid processed food, food that was prepared for you by other people or pre-packaged processed food that contains damaged oils. Many, many times they contain too much sugar. Um, try to keep your diet as natural and as healthy as possible because what you want to do now is, is you want to provide a strong base, a strong immune system that your body can do what it has to do and that is fight infection. And maybe on this point I, just want, I want to say something. The human immune system is amazing. You need to hear this. We always get so scared and become so hysteric when we hear about these viruses. But the first thing you need to realize is that a human body that is fed correctly and that has all the right substrate is a strong body. The human immune system is incredible. It doesn't matter if it's never seen a virus before. If you are exposed to a virus the very first time, yes, you may get ill. But if you've got a strong immune system, you are going to get through it. Let's talk about supplementation. Just remember that supplementation comes after all the other things that I just mentioned. Now, you must start at the basics. You can't forget the water and the sleep and the food that you eat. Um, the first thing I want to talk about with regards to supplementation is um, something called colloidal silver. Now, I buy these empty containers at my pharmacy. And I've got a few spaced around the house. I've got three children um, and a wife. And uh, what we do is, is we add colloidal silver to these containers and you spray your mouth and your throat on a regular basis throughout the day, especially in the middle of winter, especially when my kids start coming home with whatever they picked up at school. And that's how we protect ourselves or we minimize our chance of actually contracting the viral infection that my kids brought home. Colloidal silver is completely safe. It's got scientific evidence that it kills viruses and bacteria. The only people that have a problem with colloidal silver or who develop a problem with colloidal silver are the guys that drink a liter of this stuff every day for several years. Then you're going to have a blue discoloration of your skin before you know it. It's called something called argyria um, or argyria um, and that's not a good idea. Rather just spray the colloidal silver in your mouth to, uh, to kill the viruses that you were exposed to. One of my absolute all-time favorite supplements when it comes to the immune system are probiotics or probiotic bacteria. The human body is outnumbered 10 to 1 by the bacteria that we have on our skins and the bacteria that, you, bacteria that you have inside your intestine. Now this is very important because the glands that you have here under your mandible, you've got the same type of immune organ glands in the whole lining of your intestine. Thus, your intestine is responsible for close to 80% of your immune response. So if you want to be healthy in winter, you want to be healthy against viruses and handle viral infections better, you've got to take the right probiotic on a regular basis. Um, so I recommend getting a broad spectrum uh, uh, product that has at least a few lactobacilli and a few bifidobacteria in. If you can find a product that has proper spore biotics in it, you can do that as well. Um, I highly recommend them and um, I obviously can't predict what the quality is of the, uh, of the product that you're going to buy because I don't know in what, what country you are while you're watching this video. But what I can recommend is phone the number on the bottle that you're looking at. Speak to the people that made the, uh, the probiotic. If it's in the fridge, if it's not in the fridge, is it shelf certified? Can it be on the shelf? Um, is it supposed to be in the fridge that they need to have a cold chain? But um, you can now just rewind my video and l l listen to the names of the bacteria that I mentioned there. Um, take a probiotic, take it every day for two to three weeks. After that, you only need it every second to third day long term. But if you are concerned about viruses in your, in your vicinity or the people around you, you can revert to taking the probiotic every day. Vitamin C 
has got good scientific evidence behind it that it strengthens the body's immune system. My advice is you take a vitamin C product every day, prefer, preferably a buffered vitamin C. You can take 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of vitamin C every day. Then one of the rock stars in the natural world when it comes to infections and the immune system is colostrum. Yes, I know colostrum comes from a bovine source, but it contains very little of the allergens that people who are allergic to milk will have a problem with. So uh, colostrum, uh, you will find it in powders, you will find it in capsules in most pharmacies. Um, um, I can't comment on other countries outside South Africa, but I know here we have capsules and powders. They're very accessible. Um, colostrum contains immunoglobulins, contains lactoferrin, contains something called immune-rich polypeptides. This is a remarkable substance to boost your immune system and just to take it to an, another level. Um, so we, uh, in my family, we take colostrum every single day right through the course of winter. Um, it's something like half a teaspoon that you take twice a day. In capsules, that would be about two to three capsules twice a day. Olive leaf extract has been around for thousands of years. We have good science that it kills viruses, it kills bacteria, it even kills parasites, certain types of parasites. Olive leaf extract also is widely available in South Africa. They come in tinctures and you get them in capsule form. I find the capsule form a little bit more palatable. The tincture, I must say, is quite difficult to stomach, um, but some people find that quite easy. Um, uh, preventative dose, two capsules a day, and if you feel that you're in a high-risk area or you need more protection or you feel an infection coming, you can do two capsules three times daily. Another rock star of the natural world when it comes to the immune system is fulvic acid. In South Africa, we've got several fulvic acid um, products on the market. That's F-U-L-V-I-C, fulvic acid. Fulvic acid is an immune modulator. That's different to just an immune stimulant. This is a product that can modulate the immune system. I use it when I treat autoimmune disorders. Um, more videos about autoimmunity coming later. But fulvic acid is a wonderful product to take with your colostrum, with your vitamin C um, on a daily basis. You can do it right through the year. Your body's not going to get used to it. It's not going to become toxic. Um, and it's a wonderful product just to push your immune system to another level. I would like to say something about echinacea. It's a very popular product here in South Africa. Um, but echinacea does have a few caveats. The first one is you can't have an underlying autoimmune disorder and use echinacea. Echinacea is an immune stimulant, so be very careful um, that you don't make your autoimmune disorder worse using echinacea. And the second thing is that echinacea has a limited time of action. It doesn't keep on working. So you need to choose a period of time where you feel most at risk or if you feel something is coming uh, along, a viral infection, then use your echinacea, use it for two weeks and then take a two week break before you use it again. Now, if you are um, an older person, and you're worried about uh, coronavirus or flu in general in winter, or you have immunosuppression, then you should know about something called lipospheric vitamin C. This is something that you'll be able to buy on the internet. There are many health shops all over the world or health shop uh, web shops that have, the, have this product. It comes in a gel form. It's vitamin C that's been microencapsulated in, 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 in lecithin. And I've used this in severe infections in my patients, and it works very well. It's a little bit more expensive, um, but you can have this in your house, sort of like a, an emergency backup. And if you feel you need lipospheric vitamin C uh, because you've got a viral infection that's happening, then you can take two sachets at a time, and you can take that every two to three hours until you start feeling stronger again. I really hope that this video was practical and that it provided you with support and also helped you not to fear viral infections. Um, it's very important that before you apply any of the information in my videos that you speak to your healthcare practitioner to make sure that whatever I suggested fits in with your current treatment regimen or an underlying condition that you have. Please feel free to visit my Facebook page, my website, my YouTube channel. This is Dr. Anton from Johannesburg. Have a good day.